Alrighty, so some major news broke the other day of California's Great America um, being sold off, uh, well, the land it sits on. Um, I'm going to talk about why and what that means and what could be happening with some of the attractions. Uh, I, I think I have some differing opinions to those that have already posted videos, but I'm not quite sure. I've watched a couple. Honestly, a lot of them are really good. I really like Cedar Flags' video on it, and obviously Coaster Studios he gave a really great video. Um, but nonetheless, we all know that Cedar Fair has sold the land. A lot of people viewed this as a shock. I personally kind of saw this coming. And the only reason I saw this coming was the huge expansion plans were kind of drawn back and not talked about in a really long time. On top of that, the Halloween Haunt event was cancelled. It was starting to show signs of, listen, something's not going right here. Attendance wasn't going in the right direction that I guess Cedar Fair was planning with all these expansion plans and investments. Uh, and the land value was just increasing. We're going to see this over a lot of places like parks that are located in really prime locations for example if canada's wonderland wasn't pulling in the attendance it's pulling i could have seen that park being sold um <laughs> if it wasn't doing like what it's doing unfortunately for cedar fair or fortunately for us enthusiasts uh, the park is super important to the chain and will never be sold that being said um again cedar fair racked up a lot of debt during the pandemic and the debt payment <laughs> is coming due in the next two to five years. With that being said, Cedar Fair is trending upwards in terms of revenue uh, and attendance. So the debt payments, I don't think, were uh, an area of concern, uh, at least not that I saw. Uh, I don't know what Cedar Fair sees. You know, they could see something that we don't see yet until they announce it or talk about it on a stockholder's call. But I didn't see any reason to sell California's Great America. There's no panic in terms of making these debt payments. Um, I think it's more so uh, to keep that cash on hand at a really high level. We're going through a lot of uncertainty right now, and there are talks of a recession. With that being said, Cedar Fair is a recession-proof company. Um, they talk about that a lot on their stockholders' calls and their presentations. Uh, let's say a recession were to start next year, Cedar Fair can just price uh, the season passes and add-ons around the recession to still get families in. In fact, Cedar Fair could benefit from a recession um, in terms of pricing power that Cedar Fair has. You'll hear that a lot um, on Cedar Fair's stockholders' calls, but just wanted to present that to you guys. Um, sorry if I sound weird, I just got over the flu or COVID, I don't know what I have had at this point, but nonetheless, um, which rides will be relocated? I don't know fully. Um, I don't know a lot of Great America's history, or CGA, sorry. Um, so, uh, for example, Patriot is one of those really old attractions, but it was recently remodeled. I could see this one being relocated to a smaller park. Rail Blazer is 100% going to be relocated now the park that it's going to is really up in the air i think a lot of people are assuming valley fair and i think valley fair is a really great option to receive that ride but i think there are other parks out there that cedar fair is going to have to emergency invest in um again i know canada's wonderland is my home park uh, and I know that I'm biased, but I do know that Canada's Wonderland is pulling in around two to three other parks added together's attendance each day. So, for example, I know that Canada's Wonderland is tripling the attendance of Kings Island and Cedar Point on a weekday basis. Um, and on weekends, they're pulling really high numbers. We've had some really great conversations with people um, that work in the industry about Canada's Wonderland. And all eyes at Cedar Fair are on Canada's Wonderland right now, um, especially with the topics of being recession proof. Um, Canada is in a really tight um, inflation crisis right now. Um, along with the rest of the world, and Canada's Wonderland seems to be doing exceptional. Um, so it's sending a lot of uh, messages to Cedar Fair on pricing power and how to um, go about that. Uh, in terms of what could be coming to Canada's Wonderland, I more so think actually water park um, attractions will be coming to Canada's Wonderland if they were uh, from CGA. I think Railblazer is a slight possibility as a filler coaster. 
Um, but I do think Valley Fair is a really great park or Dorney Park to receive something like Railblazer. And the invert, even though I know it is exceptionally old, and I only know that from watching Coaster Studios and Cedar Flags' video, so I gotta give them credit there. I wouldn't have known how old it is. Uh, would go to one of those other smaller parks as well, like Michigan's Adventure, Dorney Park, or Valley Fair, but it is pretty old, so I don't know if they would choose to do that. Um, but Railblazer is the one that's really up in the air. It could go anywhere. It's not gonna go to Cedar Point. Cedar Point is too big of a park. Um, and important, and I think that Cedar Fair's, uh, sorry, C Cedar Point is really focusing on making C um, Cedar Point, whoa, so many tongue twisters with Cedar Fair and Cedar Point, um, Cedar Point a destination park, so they're going to focus on a lot of infrastructure over the next couple years, based off of my opinion, um, and then you're going to see a really, again, this is just my opinion, so please take this with a grain of salt, I actually do not have any inside information on Cedar Point. Um, but I do think that it's going to be a lot of infrastructure and then out of nowhere, there's going to be a really massive attraction. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really interesting. Again, uh, this is one of those attractions, Railblazer, that I think a lot of parks in the chain are eyeing. Um, and it, when it comes to the wooden coasters, I've seen a lot of people kind of offer that they would relocate these or it's a possibility to relocate these. I actually completely disagree. There's going to be 0% chance that they relocate any of their wooden coasters at California's Great America to any of the other Cedar Fair parks. Um, one of the reasonings being lumber is at like one of the lowest costs it's been in a really long time. So it would just be cheaper for a park to build an all new fresh wood wooden coaster themselves instead of just relocating it. Uh, again, they're going to have to pour all new footings at any park this would go to. And then the whole transporting of wood is just an additional cost in terms of just buying the lumber and building a new one. That being said, there's a chance that they could copy the footprint and just build it at another park. I think Cedar Flag said the same thing. I do agree that is a possibility. Um, a park that I would love to see um, Gold Striker at is Canada's Wonderland, or again, any of the smaller ones as well, like Valley Fair, Dorney Park, Michigan's Adventure, um, even Carowinds, anything along those lines. I know some retracking is going on over at Carowinds right now on Hurler. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything. Oh yes, the big one. So a lot of people are saying that the lease agreement goes for 11 years. I think this park is not going to make it anywhere close to 11 years, unfortunately. Um, I believe the park will shut down in about five years. Um, knowing my business background and my business knowledge, I just don't see Cedar Fair prolonging this experience at all. I think you're going to see attractions being pulled out left, right, and center. And you're going to see a hard stop to operations in about four to five years. Um, from now. This is very valuable land and there wouldn't have been such an investment um, in purchasing the land if there were it was 11 years out. So I definitely think that Cedar Fair has up to 11 years, but it's going to be four to five years, in my opinion, that this park gets shut down. Hopefully I'm wrong. I know this is really sad news for anyone um, that this would be their home park. I would be traumatized if Canada's Wonderland suddenly just announced that they were closing in five to 11 years. Um, I think that's all I could provide on this topic. Hopefully I gave some decent information and I wasn't just copying and pasting all the homework of other YouTubers. I apologize if I did. Again, check out Cedar Flags and Coaster Studios. Really enjoyed their video and their viewpoints on it. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any questions on the subject, comment down below and I'd love to have a conversation about it. Where do you think some of these attractions are going um, in the chain? Uh, but yeah, I think that's it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I know it's been a long time since I've made a video, uh, and I started. it's just because I started a new job, and I've just been getting used to it and settled in. But yeah, you'll see some videos from me. Uh, I've been working on a lot of cool content with Surya as well, and we got a really exciting announcement soon with something we're planning with Canada's Wonderland. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you have an amazing Canada Day long weekend and 4th of July long weekend as well. Bye, guys.